We got lots to do over here, by the way. And we got to start by uh, talking about what happened at Free FM. <laughs> we kind of pushed out. See, this is what's different than other radio shows. We openly admit when we push out. Is that really a push out? I think so. I think it's a we wouldn't have been able to give it our all. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I was thinking that too. You're right. We wouldn't have been able right. to really give it our all. Well, they decided to walk in some clients at the end of our Free FM show. We knew yeah. this was happening, but I, I guess we kind of forgot that they were coming today. And then I'm thinking, what's the big deal? We're, we, we perform in front of people all the time. We get a yeah. live studio audience here over at XM almost every day. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Throw them on a couch. Who gives a crap? We're not even going to see them, basically, if we're focusing on what we're doing and, and looking at each other, right? Yeah. So uh, we're, we're getting really excited. Commercials are playing. And we're going to come back and do uh, the South Park episode from last night. They dedicated a whole episode to the N-word. Classic. And, uh, you know, they played off the Michael Richards thing and all that stuff, right? Everybody's talking about this South Park episode. Everybody. And uh, we're just about ready to, to, you know, come out of uh, commercials and go into the South Park thing. And they walk in a, uh, uh, uh. Well, <laughs> there were two people, <laughs> one of which was an African American woman. Oh, no, woman. one's a. Uh, <laughs> an African American woman was in there. I didn't know what was happening because Ope just kept saying, worst timing in radio history. I, I just kept saying that under my breath, like hoping someone would get the clue I and knew. bring them back another day. I'm like, worst uh, timing in radio history. Yeah, but she was. Everyone's just smiling. Smiling, they got the cameras out. She she seemed like she was, you know, she fine was, with everything. She was light skinned, so it, she was cool. And then I'm thinking, you know, why not? Because we 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 have no problem doing this. Why not make everybody uncomfortable? And then I'm like, ah, I, I wasn't feeling it. And then I think that's the reason, and we couldn't give it our. Yeah, all. Yeah, I don't think we would have been able to really give it our all without like. You know, just thinking about it or something. You know what? If an Orthodox Jew walked in with a wall he was praying on, you would have done a Jew bit. Okay? <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, like I said earlier, you got to know your place. You Jews don't make as much of a ruckus. Yeah, you got to know your place out there. You're right, Rich. <laughs> Like you hear how wimpy we were uh, with the with the prison dudes today. Yeah, pick your shots. Half those people we want to hang up on. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. But you here. know, but they're prison dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, if it's some chick, uh, uh, some soccer mom, no problem. Oh so yeah. Long. yeah. So long, fatso. Uh, <laughs> but prison yeah, dudes, insult oh, let them. them and everything. Yeah, let yeah. them babble as long as they want. That's what happens. That's, You're staring on stage and you look. All of a sudden, you see some guy with a tear <laughs> under his eye. Yeah, the teardrop yeah, yeah, tattoo. The teardrop. You go. You know what? Maybe but, I should back off. But if you ever question how great we really are, oh, we please. proved it today because we had nothing mm -hmm. else. We're like, this is this was the bit. This was our stairway to heaven for this. Our go-to bit. This was it. This was the encore. And also, like, ah, I look at Ed and I'm like. All right, we'll make up something because we we just decided we're not going there. Yeah. So we uh, got more prison stories. Yeah. <laughs> the prison stuff was great. I love talking to those prisoners. South Park. Yeah, it's about time. Unedited. Unedited. Yeah. So it's better over here anyway. Yeah. So stop beating us up for not doing it over Shut there. Up. That's it gets, right. It gets better over here. So uh, South Park uh, Park did the uh, the N word. The N word. It was called the Nigger Guy episode. Was it? Nigger Guy. Did they yeah. name it that? Mm -hmm. Did they say I, that? Mm -hmm. I don't think it was. Mm -hmm. You're making that up, OPG. I'm, I'm, what happened? I, I really am believing you, too. Yeah. What? I'm, I'm like, why did Comedy Central let them do that? And they wouldn't let... I'm, I'm such an asshole. What? Oh, it was in parentheses. Ah. In parentheses. Parentheses. There's some parentheses there. But that's what they are, are pretty much calling it behind the scene. Yeah. Yes. Man. Working title. Yeah, working title. <laughs> There's a working title here. Uh, Randy, Stan's dad, of course, gets the final uh, round of Wheel of Fortune wrong. Mm -hmm. This is very, very funny. Right. And now back to Wheel of Fortune. All right, Randy, congratulations on making it all the way to the bonus round. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> You've got some family here watching tonight. Yeah, they're all rooting for me. <laughs> and I'm sure you have lots of friends watching back home. Yeah. Hi, everybody watching in South Park. That's us. Hey, 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 Randy. Randy. Hey, hey, Randy. hey, good luck. The category is people who annoy you. <laughs> okay. As always, we give you the letters R, T, S, L, and E. We just need three more consonants and a vowel. 
Okay, I'd like a B, an N, and a G. And the vowel? An O, please. Okay, well, looks like you're going to get a lot of help here. Category is people who annoy you. <laughs> Audience, keep quiet, please. Uh, well, uh... Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. <laughs> I guess this is the, the... We have to explain. Danny, go ahead. I just was going to say that this is, you know, key to, key to this clip is that on the Wheel of Fortune board, it yeah. just says, with all the letters that they've given him now, it just says N blank G G E R S. <laughs> now, let me ask you. <laughs> These fucking guys, God bless them. Uh, does he not know or does he just not want to say it? Uh, Ooh, uh, the guy in the in the clip. Uh, he, well, he's he, he you know no, he, he wants know. to say it, but he's not quite sure if he should or not. Okay, right, right. <laughs> God bless these guys. They don't give a crap. Oh. Matt and Trey. We used to have a nice relationship with these guys before they got They're massively giant, huge. huge now. Yeah. Now they don't even remember that they ever talked to us. Oh, no. We helped them out back in the day. Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. Well, I know it, but I don't think I should say it. Five seconds, Mr. Marsh. All, all right, I, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Niggers! <laughs> uh, huh? Oh. Oh, naggers, of course. Naggers. Right. Uh, can we cut to, uh. Can we cut to a. <laughs> the old off the air thing? <laughs> Oh God! Damn, he just blurts it out. <laughs> Stunned audience. Stunned host. That's very funny. Oh man! Uh, that could be one of the funniest clips ever. There. Right there. You might have just. They got some set, man. The That's funniest great. clip ever. Ah. Uh. Well, Stan tries to explain to Token, and uh, Cartman uh, sc <laughs> screams race war. What's this one about again there, Danny? I don't really understand. Well, because everybody, it was uh, it was replayed on, like, the South Park News in the morning, yeah. so everybody knew what was going on. So, uh, obviously, Token is the black guy on, on South Park, so right. Stan thought that he should apologize to, uh, to Token for what his dad said. All right. My dad isn't a racist. He's just stupid, all right? He just blurted out the N-word, and it's no big deal, okay? Uh, well... Actually, it is kind of a big deal, Stan. Uh, it may be a mistake, <laughs> but you don't understand how it feels when that word comes up. So don't say it isn't a big deal. Oh, shit, here we go. It's on. Race war. Race war. Race war. Race war's on, everybody. It's going down. Shit is going down. Token, my dad wasn't trying to be offensive. Just forget about it. That's easy for you to say, Stan. Yeah, come on. Here we go. Yeah, but he didn't say it in anger or anything like that. That doesn't mean I can just be fine. Race war. Come on. Race war. <laughs> if you really think it's not a big deal, then you really are ignorant. That's all. I'm not fighting anybody. Token forfeit. Whites win. Whites win. Race war is over, everybody. Whites won again. I can't. <laughs> Goddamn, Carmen. Oh, how bad do I want that race war clip in my... In my machine. You'll have it. Oh. Uh, yeah, this next clip, Stan goes to the Laugh Factory, is recognized as nigger guy. Randy uh, oh, leaves God upset. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we got a great crowd here tonight. Now, how many people here are actually from Colorado? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> got nothing better to do on a Friday night than to go to a comedy club, huh? <laughs> know you from somewhere? Yeah, I know you. You're the guy that said nigga on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's the nigga guy. <laughs> hey, it is him. Oh, we got a star in the club. Everyone wave to the nigga guy. Say, hi, nigga guy. Hi, nigga guy. <laughs> That's all right, nigga guy. You know we just playing. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Have you all seen these navigation systems in these cars these days? Damn things look like they're right out of far out space nuts. Maybe Nigga Guy has one. You got one, Nigga Guy? He's killing. <laughs> hey, look, Betty. It's that Nigger Guy.
What do you think you're doing? I just need some aspirin. You aren't welcome in this store, nigger guy. <laughs> Man, they got away with murder on that show. They always do. Yes, they do. They it's amazing. Do. Uh, by the way, the pad data will not be changing uh, this morning. Oh. Got a little problem. A lot, a lot of people feedbacking and Why? saying change the pad data. It's how they listen to the show. We break it up by changing the pad data. Oh, really? But today there's a little problem with the computer. What's the problem? Are they going to fix it then? It might not uh, be fixed today, but it'll be fixed tomorrow. Okay. okay. So just deal with it for one day. All right. Uh, next clip. Uh, Randy tries to erase his identity as nigger guy. And so it is my honor to announce today the Randy Marsh African American Scholarship Foundation. It is my hope that this foundation will prove my commitment to the education of African American students and erase once and for all my identity as the nigger guy. <laughs> you really... You really don't know how hard it is to be constantly reminded of something lame that happened in your past. <laughs> I mean, I, I just want to move on from what happened on Wheel of Fortune, you know? And, and when people call me nigger guy, they're bringing up a painful chapter of my history and all the negativity that went along with it. You just... you can't imagine how that feels. Is this nigger guy serious? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as we move on here, a few rednecks uh, run into Randy. He is saved by Michael Richards and Mark Furman, of all people. <laughs> hey, look, Skeeter. That's that guy from the TV. Well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a nigger guy. Oh. Where are you going, nigger guy? Please, I, I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble when you first decided to slander an entire race of people on Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you like making fun of minorities, nigger guy? We don't take kindly to social ignorance. You tell them, Skeeter. You tell them. What do you want? What do we want? <laughs> <laughs> we want to live in a world without people like you who are intolerant of African Americans. Leave them alone. Hey, that's that other nigger guy, huh? That's the guy from Seinfeld used the N-word a whole bunch of times. Michael Richards? Well, son of a bitch. Looks like it's our lucky day. We done got us two nigger guys. Make that three. Mark Furman? Who? He done said the N-word in the OJ case. What is this, a nigger guy convention? <laughs> We aren't being pushed around anymore. Leave. Come on, Skeeter. These nigger guys ain't worth our trouble. Damn nigger guys! We'll be back! There you go. Not the funniest clip, obviously. No, no. I don't get... started mm. with that one. Yeah, how the hell are they getting away with that? No, no, well, I, I don't I, get that. On Comedy Red Central. I don't get well, that. Comedy Red Central only edits you if you're a white guy. Yeah. Um, the, uh, my thing is, uh, what are the points of Matt and Trey making with this? It's funny, but I mean, what are they making? Are they making fun of the liberal whites? Are they making fun of the fact that white people feel victimized by not being able to You can never tell it. They they're, they're <laughs> used to words so much, it just it doesn't mean anything. Like, it's so saturated. I think they just figured they could get the word on TV. Yeah, get the word on TV a hundred times. Right, they don't give a clue. We had a sketch in Tough Crowd with Nigger in it, and they wouldn't let Colin say it because nah. he's not Chappelle or a cartoon. No. Nah. So if you're black or a cartoon, you could say it? That's the rules. According to Comedy Central? Uh, yeah. The Comedy Central, yeah, figures... Um, mm hmm as long as uh, you could take the show off the air and no one would call, then you could say whatever you want. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> wow. No, we had a lot of people. I'm teasing. Um, <laughs> wow. I was only joking. Oh, yeah, it's okay now. He was just joking. Uh, just joking. Right. Um, yeah, we couldn't say it. All right, finally, Randy goes to Washington, gets uh, nigger guy banned from the language. Something that's kind of going yeah. on. So maybe this. Well, that's why they usually do episodes that are topical, yeah, and I think go. they're goofing on the whole thing that the you can't use the word. Yeah. Senators, I know it is not normally considered American to ban words, but there is one slur that has caused so much damage that we believe it should finally be made illegal. I'm talking, of course, about the term nigger guy. 
nigger guy? Two words which by themselves can be harmless, but which together <laughs> form a verbal missile of hate. Yeah, that's right. Oh, sure. Some people just use the term in jest. Tell a nigger guy a joke or two thinking it's no big deal. But they don't realize it can lead to people using the term as an excuse for violence. Goddamn nigger guys trying to be all political like now. Senators, I've learned to admit that I'm capable of having slightly racist thoughts once in a while. Can anybody say they never do? How long will it be before you are all called nigger guys? Uh, hold on a second. Are you suggesting that nigger guy could become a slur that refers to all white people? I am certainly not a nigger guy. I've never thought a racist thought. Oh, come on. You're the biggest nigger guy in Washington. Mr. Marsh, we see now the importance of your bill. All those in favor to ban the term nigger guy? Aye. Opposed? Nay. The motion is passed. For the first time in American history, a word has been officially banned from use. From now on, if a person uses the word nigger, it must be at least seven words away from the word guy. <laughs> Tom, it appears that the nigger guy epidemic is over. Oh, damn it, I said it, didn't I? <laughs> well, yeah. There you go. Uh, let's go to Dave in Chicago. Dave, what's up? Man, what the fuck is going on? I'd rather listen to fucking Howard Stern fuck, fuck man cow over a bag of potato chips and your bullshit. We're playing this fucking comedy sexual shit, man. I've been paid fifteen fucking dollars a month listening to shit I just heard on the TV the night before. Are you? Hey, Dave. We uh we did what's called uh, uh oh you gotta hang up now. With your that's the worst part. I, I want to hear your dumb analogy again. First of all, just a few minutes of audio so we can comment on the fact that that word. Uh, they're tr trying to ban it. Right. And uh, there's a cartoon that's just blurting it out a hundred times. And we uh, we took a chance at something, so we ended up just listening to South Park for a little while. Would they let Did you, anyone get hurt? Would they have let you play that on CBS? Well, not, not no. like that. So I'm glad that we didn't get to that no. today. For many reasons, because we didn't have much uh, comments anyway. <laughs> no, it was just kind of... <laughs> You know, those guys get away with murder over there. It's so amazing. Dave should call back. I'll explain how a radio show works. you got to take chances. I wonder if there's going to be any um, backlash. From that episode? Yeah, you know, this is, well, the Scientology one, they had backlash from that. This one now, because this is a, a hot fucking topic right now. There are people really trying to get the word banned. Um, even if there's no consequence to it, they're trying to symbolically ban it. Uh, other people, uh, reverends and stuff are saying it. Uh, and, and there's an episode where it's used very liberally. Just like, it had to be, did anyone count? All right, Jesus well, Christ, it's got to be a, a hundred times. Let's take the word out of music. Let's start there. Well, that's a problem because. Why? Because it's hip hop that's using it. And, and uh, they're black guys doing that, and th they have a right to that word. That's the argument. Yeah, that's, it falls a little short. Should all I bet they catch some shit for this, though. We should all be able do. to use whatever words we want. Right. You can't start saying that one group should be able to say it for this reason, but everyone else should not be able to to use it. That is just completely mm -hmm. ridiculous. And what what if you're half and half? You could only go, nah. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> and this jackass that just of... called, this jackass, of course, okay, so it was on TV last night. We, you talk about stuff that was in the news that was on TV last night, you he, idiot. He almost had a point because we didn't have much going on as we were playing the clips you know we thought we'd have a little more but see this show takes chances all the time so maybe that fell a little short yeah, we'll throw him a bone but, and say yeah but that's why the show works because we do take chances well, and you, you, know you gotta be brave enough to fall flat on your face i mean his analogy was awful i wanted to hear that again and some you know. people enjoy just hearing the clips and and what they got away with on tv so there you go i um I like the one clip was very funny about that when he just said it on TV. Yeah, yeah, we could, we should have stopped there. Oh no, we should have stopped. Should have stopped right there. What yeah. do you know? We're shy. Get a quick laugh and then move on to something else. Always pushing it too far. But Dave was too scared. Oh. You know, we were actually going to sort of agree with you and then explain our have a little dialogue. A little dialogue, but you, you hung up after your dumb bad analogy about Howard fucking man cow. A, what? I don't know. Could someone like uh, a pile of dinkers? He'd rather. He said he'd rather listen to that. But Listen of to, course, who wouldn't? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Can you hear that? Is Howard fucking man cow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you would have to listen to that. Sure would. And it's not even gay that you want to listen to well, that. Well, watch it. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And what do you mean they're trying to ban the word? What, you, you can get arrested? If no, you, there's no... Uh, symbolically. Symbolically, they are going around and making laws 
like like putting into the books whatever the fuck that is that this word shouldn't be used or is 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 banned. You know who's doing that? Oh. <laughs> Lovers. <laughs> and if you say it, though, what's the penalty? Like you have there to is no next penalty. One. Yeah, you oh. get <laughs> nothing. You get a demerit. A bl- You'll get one demerit. You get a demerit, and they take a little happy face away from you. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, I like a happy at the end face. Of the day. Yeah. When I was in really? Vegas, a black girl walked on stage and threw a drink on me. A couple weeks, just threw a drink, and I didn't say it. But, Why? You know, I offended her, so I don't know, and oh, she threw boy. a drink glass. Hey. You must have said it was the black guy doesn't like to eat the coochie bit, right? No, I don't. <laughs> what, was the, what was the bit? Unless I don't, fried. I don't know. She was with a white guy, and I go, oh, 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 oh I, I found yourself a co-signer, right? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a good one. That's funny, man. So, and then, you know, she, I trashed him or whatever, and then he left, and she stayed, and she walked on stage and threw a drink. You know, and then I said, "Well, you know, maybe, maybe if you think about it, Kramer wasn't wrong." I'm fine. And, and oh I, wow! And then I said, "I can't believe she wasted a whole glass of Kool Aid." Right? <laughs> right? God <laughs> damn, Rich! So, Rich comes alive on that stage, man. Oh, he, does. And, uh, he doesn't oh, back down. <laughs> she wasted fine. a whole glass of Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. And uh, so security came and said, "Do you want us to, you know?" I said, you know, don't arrest her. I don't want to. Yeah, what's weekend. wrong with you? I said, get find her and scare her. But I, I oh, you well, they look for her. They couldn't find her. Find her and scare her. What with torches and hound dogs? Were yeah. they chasing her down the street? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Rich. <laughs> She'd rather be arrested than Damn. scared a little. Just bit. put pliers on her clit and threaten her. <laughs> right. Let's break her fucking legs. <laughs> yeah, I want to scare her. What the hell is that, that? Bitch. See, Dave, that's why we play the South Park audio. Because now, see what it led to. It's leading to something. The, 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 we're building up steam here now. Race dialogue. That's right. Let's go to Brian in uh, Maryland. Brian. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Hi. Hi. I go to the University of Maryland, and we're actually, there's a, a bunch of us local students, and we're actually having a protest where we've gotten together with the Black Student Union, and we want to ban that word from our campus because it does nothing but cause pain. It does nothing but you make people upset. Ban. How about the word rape, dude? How about the word rape? Yeah. It's the Black Student Union. Wait, hold on. How about the word rape, dude? That What, what you're doing the there, I understand rape? the intentions are good, but it's It's disgusting. Unpopular speech has to be protected regardless of what it does. Yeah, school, That's it. Uh, school, our, schools don't follow the rules of America anymore, yeah. man. There's another story about uh, two girls got suspended for using the word vagina, even though they they were allowed to do the vagina monologues, but they can't say the word vagina. Yeah. But but this is a college. their minds yeah. in schools. They were children. This yeah, is a college. This is a college. Yeah. The guys, greatest is, offenders of free speech Don't you college. realize that? Absolutely. But what about the I First agree Amendment? That we have to be able to have open dialogue about this, and I I agree that we have to open be able to dialogue. Well, dude, openly, but hold we'll on, hold on, hold on, dude. Okay. Open dialogue. It's a word. It is not illegal. It is not fire in a movie theater. It's not inciting people to riot. And you could twist that any way you want. It's offensive. An unpopular offensive speech has to be protected. That's what we're based on. What if all of a sudden religious uh, things start to become offensive? You can't ban it. What's the matter with you? Colleges are filled with a bunch of uh, posts. What a bunch man. of robots you are. Whatever happened to, to just... Well, hold on. God, I'm, uh, let's robots. hear his point. All right. Listen, our meetings are this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the Improv in Pittsburgh. <laughs> They're led uh, by James uh, uh, Well... <laughs> I, had I was going to ask him if the Black Student Union building had was boarded up. No, he uh, got no. me. Uh, Brian, Brian, you're good. We love you. Yeah, you explain buddy. to Rich because he doesn't. Know. I know. I got it. That was very funny. God uh, damn it. But it's true you know about what? colleges. We have to have an open dial. Oh, he said all the things. I wanted to choke him. He had every button of yours oh, pushed, man. God, God. Open dialogue. But, but this shit is happening in school. Yeah, I yeah. know it is. The story of the, the vagina word. Where is that? Well, That's just to right show you right. what phonies they are in colleges. At Columbia University, a bunch of the students from the Minutemen, the guy who ran the Minutemen, would stop illegal immigrants from coming to the country, was speaking. They rushed the stage and had to take... And yet they invited Chavez from fucking uh, Venezuela. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And fucking they invited the Iranian president to speak, but eventually so much pressure came they had to, to rescind the invitation. They're just... Uh, colleges have become filled with these these just these self-righteous little, little, little uh, uh, language pigs, and they are so against... Any ideology that isn't their own. It's mm. not a place for... Free. That's why I have no respect for college students. You're not about free thought or free expression. At oh, all. Yeah. Here's the vagina story. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people uh, have heard by now, but here it is, just in case. 
At John Jay High School in Katona, one word has led to a war of words. Last Friday night, Hannah Levinson, Megan Reback, and Alain Stahl read a line from the Vagina Monologues with the word vagina in it at a school event. And now they're each serving a one-day in-school suspension. I feel like I should be able to say parts of my body without being scrutinized Absolutely. and without being punished. Yeah. It's just a word. We, ha- we are women. We have vaginas. And we think we should be able to speak about it. I we think we talk to you. they should be able to say whatever they want on open mic night. I really believe that they should be able to say what they want and as long as it's not offensive and, you know, the word vagina is in the English language. I kill rich cunts. <laughs> Goddamn rich cunts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at a college, I was doing a college and uh, I, I just did a, a, a dumb Polish thing on some guy. Oh, this was like five, six, seven years ago, a Polish thing. Some guy just walking through the show, a, a teacher, like the students, it was a great show. Just walking through, heard the word Polish, right? And they didn't want to pay me. They didn't was, want he, to pay was he a comic with integrity? He was, no, whatever. <laughs> they didn't want to pay me. But yet, the next week at that school, the next week at that school, uh, Khalid Muhammad was speaking. You know, he was alive. You know, so... I would th- hope so. <laughs> yeah. But you see, you know, it's... it's If you're white, you can't do anything in these schools. And and the, the liberals, what it is, is the professors try to brainwash you with their ideology and, 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 and have you believe what they believe instead of opening your mind as as students should to what goes on in the world. Let you make your own decisions. Let's just teach him stuff. Keep yeah. your own fucking ideas to yourself, you self-righteous professor yeah. jack-offs. The, the liberals have fa- fallen into the same trap that conservatives rose in. They're, for them, it's become the word hate speech. They ha- when they, When I don't like what you're saying... I can't just say I don't like you. I don't want you to say that because yeah. I don't like it. That's too. That's too yeah. uh, it's revealing. It's blatantly unconstitutional. Too revealing. Yeah, and it's too revealing on a personal level to to be that fucking self obsessed and shallow. So they say it's hate speech, just like fucking conservatives always use family values. Yeah, like oh that's anti family or that's anti. You know they they hide behind family shit and the liberals hide behind it's hate their speech. Their personal Silly. feelings about it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just admit you don't like it, and you don't want someone else saying it because you don't like it. And what's gonna, end of story? What's going to happen if a girl in high school says the word vagina? Exactly. Who knows? I think she's talking to herself. I mean, <laughs> she should be able to say it. See, the problem was you she know, didn't say vagina. She referred to it as smelly Mr. Ed Lips. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, this is another story I was reading about. There's a very popular children's book. Maybe someone could help us out oh, here. Oh, yeah. It, it, oh, you know about it? It's like a bestseller. It's in uh, every school library, and they're trying to ban the book because of one lousy word. Is it Horton? Here's a Jew. <laughs> oh, parody. Uh, oh. Or the cat who likes scat. This this uh, children's book is one of the one of the most popular books. It's selling like crazy, and uh, they want to ban it. Charlotte's Nig. <laughs> no, it was written by Doctor Speck. <laughs> the word is scrotum. Really. Scrotum. Why would that word be in a children's book, though? Because well, hmm. I don't know. Because it, 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 it comes after. It comes after the words. Don't forget to tickle the. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you don't have money in the ice cream man is giving you a free snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what context besides Jimmy's. Uh, the word scrotum would be in a kids' book. Hey, Dave. Hey. Are you getting the show hey. a little bit more now? I'm getting the show. I love you guys. You guys are radio gold most of the time. But today's episode, you guys did have to play the whole goddamn thing, did you? Dude, but we don't know. Forever, but we don't man. know. Hold on, Dave. I, I wish we had a, uh, one of those things that we could see the future. A crystal ball. Okay. But sometimes oh. we take a chance and, and sometimes we fall flat on our faces. MP3 editor. Huh? I wish you had a better sound clip editor that you could only play, like, you know, maybe two clips from it. Yeah, we might. Uh, it would have been better if we just played the first clip. Dude, Absolutely. it was one segment. We moved on and stuff. It was like one little segment. What are you What are you judging the whole show minute by minute? Yeah, this is what fucking guys like Dave do. They oh, call up and all God. of a sudden they want to know why we don't You're do show prep. Yeah. Yeah, I know, <laughs> bastard. We didn't have time to listen We're to the busy. clip ahead of time and decide if we had anything of substance. Here's more on the vagina girl. But school officials insist it's not the word vagina that troubled them. It's insubordination. Earlier, the girls had been asked not to read that particular line from the vagina monologues, but they did so anyway. Good girls. We have younger siblings of students often at these events. And we were just trying to be sensitive. Yeah, we were suspended, but it was worth it because now everyone in the community is openly talking about it. Yeah, about vaginas. The writer of the vagina monologues, Eve Ensler, who grew up in Scarsdale, has now offered to visit the school to explain why she thinks it's important for high high school age girls to feel comfortable saying the word vagina. Yeah. (laughs) 
Isn't it amazing? <laughs> we are a country of fucking wash women. Faggots. What a bunch of fucking faggots Americans are. Mm. God almighty, are we a fucking nation of fucking wash women. They, they have their own constitution in schools. Oh. They get away with murder. We're doomed, man. With this whole yeah. fucking, this empire that we're sitting on right now, that has lasted a couple hundred years. Oh, we had a good run. We had a good run. The Chinese are coming. But we are so on the fucking ass end of this slope here that we, we, we're just fucking doomed. Watch that slur. So yeah, you get well, mad around we're the slopes are the ones that are going to... We're raising a nation of poohas. Bunch of pussies, bunch of fucking politically correct assholes who are just going to... Turn turn this whole fucking country upside down. We're phonies. Americans yeah. are phony. Um, no, the conservatives are phony. conservatives are fucking phony too. Not they wouldn't let Lenny Bruce do his act. Come on, they're fucking full of shit too. And they've been worse for us as performers than liberals ever. Liberals are nudges. The liberals are like, the liberals are phony because they're supposed to be like this a free speech oasis yeah. and they're fucking little self righteous cunts. But the conservatives are the ones that have fucking I mean you know crushed people. I mean you know that religious yeah, like influence man has has ruined oh, yeah. more than the liberals will ever ruin it. The liberals are just nudges. You know. You're like, all yeah, right, but the conservatives are judge, no, 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 no. yeah, you, you tie in every everything with conservatives with religion, with religion. That's the big base they have is the religious right. That's their well, hey, power base. Yeah. Can I uh, jump in really fast here? Uh, jump in. Dice is going to be on Brother Weeze's show in in like a minute. Oh, I want to see how that goes. Can we get it? A little of, of he that? does it out of a garage. What? Man Cow does it out of his Man garage cow. now. Oh my God. Oh, did you, who's, 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 who's told you you going to be on? Oh, we Oh, I thought you said that. Oh, oh, my God. Brother Weez sounds just like Man Cow. No, because any other thing. Which we got somebody mean. listening to CMF in Rochester. I want to see how that goes. Because uh, yeah. Weez will definitely bring up uh, uh, what happened to the relationship between us and uh, Dice. I guarantee it. How are we going to get that done? Hey, uh, listen to someone's got a call. Huh? I've never heard a show. Someone's got a call and put the... Uh, their phone by a speaker. Uh, 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 I got I got to like hang up on a lot of people. Oh. Yeah, that's good. But who gives a shit? Love the show. Who gives a shit? Thanks. <laughs> uh, even Whackbag doesn't let you write nigger. What's that yeah. about? Why? Uh, boss's good. tumor. Real fast. It's go. For hey, I, I agree with everything you guys are saying about censorship and the words and all that. You can't ban them, but dude, Whackbag. Whackbag yeah. bans these words, man. We can't, you can't type rape. There's a reason they do that, though. They also ban the word rape on there. It's for search engine uh, reasons. When you got a bunch of posts that have the word rape, and then you put rape in looking for uh, something, it's going to... Oh, that's my phone. It's okay. Oh, but it's not to be PC. No, it's not to be PC. It's, it's fucking... Uh, right. you, know, you, you don't want your website to pop up on certain searches. That's all. Oh, fair enough. Wouldn't that, just, wouldn't that just make you higher on the Google list or whatever? All right. Well, how many people are putting nigger in for searching every day? Maybe they wind up Pepper getting... audience. <laughs> maybe they wind up... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, the, yeah, they have I'm putting in out. rape. <laughs> no, dude, I'm, right. I'm only guessing. I don't know why WackPay does it. I'm only guessing it's because then you get these people that are, are going there to your site for the wrong reasons. And yeah. That you have to get them out. You know what I mean? It, it might just overrun you with just fucking people that are like not Believe show me. fans. Just I know the guys. It's, it's not... What do you think? Oh, that word is a Offensive. I don't want to put it on that. No, it's it has to do with the uh, search engines. All right. Well, it's an honor to be on the air with my host and my boys. A uh, Francus to you too, right. sir. Uh, Francus um, to you right. too. And then Fox Five, they did the uh, the vagina story, and uh, well, you got to hear their banter. We love banter. Listen, how ridiculous this is. I'm wondering what the health teacher calls it. The JJ. Is that what it is? <laughs> I mean, how do you yeah, teach? The JJ. Well, I'm, I'm, my question is, how do you teach health? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's because my kids are in school and they I mean, have it health is courses. The, it is the it's anatomically a, correct terminology. Yes, it's like saying elbow. Oh, it's yeah. like saying elbow. Yeah, but no one ever says you got a smelly elbow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to work hard. Let me put some vagina grease into it. <laughs> Bring your elbow over to your uncle. Please tell him uh, we want to listen in on the show. Everyone's saying call we, so let's do that. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Could do that. Well, how do you teach health and all that? C c nothing's going to happen to your kid if he n if he knows the word vagina and penis and scrotum. You know. Oh, what? Voice and uh, balls and cunt. Uh, it's like fucking sucking. Sucking. Your womb is so polluted. It's like, let's make believe the kids don't know those words. I mean, it's so stupid. No, we just become, uh, like uh, like Jimmy said, a bunch of faggots. Just 
This country can't deal with anything. We live to catch each other in verbal miscues. Mm -hmm. That's what we have become, just a bunch of little fucking bitches who want to catch each other yeah. making verbal miscues. Gotcha. 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 Now your career's ended. A country of hall monitors. Mm -hmm. We are a nation of fucking hall monitors. And those girls were, I guarantee white, if those girls were Afro-American... They wouldn't. There wouldn't have been a complaint. They, they would have been able to read it. What's your Afro American? Afro American, nineteen seventy-five. I was just saying that. To be oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, <laughs> Jimmy. I thought that deserves something. I didn't hear the you. Bell. I, didn't <laughs> I was kidding. You said after they were African American, they wouldn't have gotten any trouble. I said that's because they wouldn't have been able to read it. And I'm, yeah. All right, even nothing on the explanation. All right, the hand. Now, so <laughs> now you'll get the crash because you repeated it. I was overconfident, and uh, Oprah heard it, Voss heard it, no one cared for it. I'll accept that. <laughs> and and, and laughed yeah. out of agreement. I thought it was funny. <laughs> all right, I'll take the hit. I thought it was amusing. Apparently not.